Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to talk about these Emily Emily Lay um, pens. I actually recently picked them up from Target. I posted a little thing on Instagram about them, and a lot of people seem to want a pen test and for me to talk about them a little bit. So I figured I would go ahead and do that. Um, so like I said, these are from Emily Lay. She recently announced that she is having a little partnership with Target, so a lot of her products will be available at Target or some type of modification of her products. Um, I was really happy when I saw that these pens were going to be at Target because I love, love, love extra fine point pens, and I just couldn't justify buying them on her website and paying a ton for shipping when you know, that's the only thing that I'm really going to purchase. At some point, I would love to try her planners. Just at this, you know, right now I'm a little busy with studying and everything. So I figure once I have time later on, I will definitely try them out. I love the way that a lot of her stuff looks. It's very simple and um, it seems very functional and something that I would like. But like I said, I just don't really have time to figure that out right now. So like I was saying, these are actually the extra fine tip so they're 0.5 millimeters I love extra fine um, pens the ones that I always use and I get a ton of questions about are these pilot g2s and they're actually um, 0.38 so if you're ever looking for these I definitely recommend either going through Amazon or I always go to Office Depot and I'm able to find them I can find the pack that has like the blue um, the black the green and the red and they're like five dollars or so not not that bad so like I said I love extra fine um, pens they're for my handwriting I feel like they look the best so I definitely wanted to pick these up the colors that you get are black a navy kind of a medium blue a light blue a green a yellow and a pink I was gonna say red um, so lots of different options and I personally love getting new pens and kind of experimenting with them for studying because using different colors um, definitely helps keep your notes a little bit more organized in my opinion so anyway I figured I'd show you guys a little pen test and um, let you know how they write and all of that so I'm just gonna go ahead and take these all out of the package and I will try and link them um, either through Amazon or through Target. At my Target, they didn't actually have them out, but they did have them um, at the store, like behind the desk or something. And so I asked them, um, I placed the order online and I was able to pick it up like five minutes later. So it's kind of goofy, but I mean, it worked. So anyway, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and try them out. So this is just an Erin Condren notepad. Um, it's pretty representative of how her actual paper and the life planners um, feel. So I'm just gonna write my name, Sarah Marie, and kind of show you guys what it ends up looking like. So they, my first impression of them, they write really smooth. I feel like it's like the colors are really pretty it kind of skipped a little bit there but when I used them last time it did not do that so I'm sure it's just because I'm doing it on camera now it seriously just is so smooth it feels like the smoothest pen I've ever wrote with and I love how thin it is like do you see that I'll definitely do the normal pen that I use to kind of show you guys the difference My handwriting's not the best, but you guys get the idea. And we'll do the yellow, which the yellow is probably the one that I think would be the hardest to use just because it doesn't seem to show up. Okay, so like I was saying, the yellow might be the hardest one to see um, and to use in my opinion, but I think in some situations it could come in handy. Um, just definitely not for notes. I definitely I would probably 
completely gloss over that. Um, and then the last color is this really pretty pink. I love how these colors are like the Emily, Emily Lay colors. I feel like it is... When, you, when I see this, like especially in this like combination, I think of her almost instantly. So those are the um, Emily Lay pens. And then this one, like I said, is the one that I pretty much use on a daily basis. And this is kind of what this one looks like. So I would say it's very similar in terms of like thickness. Um... I guess this one's technically smaller, but it looks pretty close to me. I, like I said, I don't have like the best handwriting. And so for me, I like the thinner tips. It, for some reason, it just, I don't know if it's just like the way that I handle the pen or whatever. It just seems to make the biggest difference. I'm going to use all the colors and just kind of give you an idea of what they look like depending on the different colors that you use. So I have green and then red as well. And then we have the red. Compared to the G2s, the Pilots, I think these are Pilot Precise uh, V5s, they are way smoother than these pens in my personal you know opinion then i have some other pens i figure I might as well just give an idea of how they kind of hold up to other pens that i've kind of been using lately so like i said these are probably the pilot g2s are probably the ones that i use the most on a daily basis i also recently picked up these which are paper mate ink joy gel pens and these are the thin ones these are 0.5s so similar to these i can tell you before i even write with them that these are going to be thicker than the other ones but let's go ahead and kind of do a pen test first and you guys can kind of judge it for your own you know your own opinions so yeah they're definitely thicker in my opinion again it just seems like it's it's a little bit thicker than up there and for some reason all the pens want to like skip on me today you can probably tell which ones I use more often none of the G2 is skipped I don't think these are just definitely like thicker than the other ones I still like them. It's just like kind of different than they're not as thin as or like not they don't write as thin as I imagined they would when I bought them. So there you go. So the Emily Lay ones are up above. Then these are the Pilot G2s and these are the Paper Mate Ink Joy. So I would say like in terms of thickness and all of that that the Emily Lay ones, the precise uh, V5s are the thinnest and then, then it goes up a little bit more and then these are definitely thicker. Which is funny because you'd assume based off of like what they say and are advertised as that these would be the thinnest looking and maybe they are. I feel like they're very similar in terms of those two. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and getting an idea of what the pens are kind of like. I got a lot of questions about are they like dual tip markers like the Erin Condren ones. They are not. They are very thin, even thinner than these. Um, so yeah, definitely check them out online um, if you can. I personally love them. I'm going to add them to my planning pack right now so I can start using them when I start, start studying the next section. But anyway, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this question enjoy this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions um, down below and I'll try and get back to you guys as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!